And we've learned from Reno police that three people have been arrested for their alleged connection to the destruction at Reno City Hall and the headquarters of the Reno Police Department. Lionel Jimenez, Ekapati Tau, and a third person who is under the age of 18 were arrested and faced multiple charges for their alleged roles in the riots Saturday. Reno police are also asking for help identifying and finding another person who they say took an American flag from the station and took part in burning it. Now, anyone with information is encouraged to contact Reno police. And with now 25 arrests made as a result of Saturday, officers expect even more, but they're asking for your help. And that's why, with the help of regional partners, they've created a tip portal so that you can share any pictures or video that you may have taken. Paul Nelson has the details. <laughs> It's been three days since an angry group rioted in downtown Reno. RPD is going through a lot of video and information during the investigation. Our detectives are constantly gathering intelligence both from what they've seen on social media and what really the community has been able to provide. That's been a huge source of information for us and we appreciate that. That's why the Northern Nevada Regional Intelligence Center created a tip portal, a link for witnesses to upload their pictures and video to help locate the people responsible for the damage. We were getting a lot of information and we needed one place for our detectives to be able to access that so they could start looking and compiling these cases. Police officers are paying close attention to what's happening and preparing as much as possible. That includes making sure personnel and equipment are in place when necessary. And with this being such a, such a fresh incident uh, in our area and then what's happening nationally, you know, we are definitely monitoring everything and planning accordingly. Today, you can barely notice the vandalism that happened at the Reno Police Department. That's because residents showed up to clean up after the riots. Warren credits that to the relationship RPD has with the community. I think that was really shown on Sunday morning with how many people came out to both the Reno Police Department itself and just to downtown Reno. And I mean, that was cleaned up in a matter of hours. Reno has had peaceful protests in the past. Warren says working with the organizers helps keep these events safe while they make their voices heard. We are going to make sure that we can do everything in our power to make sure people feel safe here. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, 2 News. Police in Las Vegas.